Hey guys, welcome to my next Unity 5 tutorial, and this is going to be looking at the FPS controller and how it's changed from Unity 4 to Unity 5. Now, obviously, if you've had any time to look at it, you don't need to watch this video, but if you're a little bit confused and seeing how things changed, the actually Unity have done a good job on making the FPS controller especially um, quite a lot better with how it works because it's added a lot of features that people constantly would always use like footstep sounds, jumping, sprinting, all that stuff that you'd have to put extra time and effort into just making it work but this comes out of the box with all the features that you require so you may have seen this scene before in Unity 4 but I brought it back again for Unity 5 because we couldn't miss out on this so what I'm going to show you straight away is like my other tutorial is, is importing a custom package by right clicking on the project and import characters now once you've done that if you go into your standard assets and go to characters you'll have a, f a few different things that you might want to import now we're gonna go for the first person controller we'll look at prefabs and we'll just drag the FPS controller into our scene and you'll see it looks very much the same as it did in Unity 4 the only difference being that it's got um, an FPS uh, first person control um, first person character should I say attached to it which acts as its main camera and you can do all the stuff that you did before with the clipping planes and all that stuff that you're used to now the difference is in the main parent is the FPS controller and that now doesn't have a um, character motor which controlled speed and of which you could move and all that sort of stuff now it has just one first person controller script and that controls your walking speed your running speed when you hold shift um, the lens at which you take a stride you how um, high you can jump how quickly the gravity will bring you down now mouse look is on the first person controller itself so you can turn that up to increase sensitivity and have your minimum maximum values there um, you can have a look at your field of view you can enable head bobbing because that used to be a script by itself you can adjust the parameters there for that script you can have a look at the jump bob um, you can set the step interval so how many times you want to be able to step um, it now comes with its own ability to put jump sounds in and landing sounds it comes with an array for footstep sounds and it comes with its own rigid body and audio source already attached so if we just run our game you'll notice that we dropped in and it made a sound when we walk it automatically bobs up and down in time with the footsteps that we've got if I hold shift you can hear the in movement increased and the um, footsteps increased as well you jump all the sounds come with that and as I said the head bobbing along with that but as I said this is a really good character controller for just getting you up and running with a first person sort of view and it has everything inclusive in one so we can adjust all these parameters so walk speed can be quicker run speed you know we can move so much quicker and it's so easy because they've done it all for you and you can disable head bob so we don't have that if you don't need it, you might want to increase your uh, step interval, make it slower, you know, whatever you need it to be. But that was just a brief look at the first person controller script, which is on the first person controller. You can double click and open up in Mono Develop if you need to edit this script or look at it. But this is where I might be referencing some things for future stuff in the. Um, series is to come so that was just a quick overview of the new first person controller and the things that it helps you do you know without you having to even do anything so thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers